Okay, so hello viewers and welcome back to turn number five of our Let's Play slash tutorial on War in the West. So, uh, I have time for a really quick episode today, so we might just cover the, the turn here and that's pretty much it. Um, anyhow, it looks like la from last time the enemy has, uh, has pulled back and they are now somewhere further up along the coast here. So, uh, last time we rebased our fighters, and with that said, we're going to take a look at whether or not these uh, these locations are active now. Uh, because there's a chance that they might be out of supply, and looks like a few bases are in supply, and a few bases are out of supply, which is a bit of a problem. So, um, as you can see, like the, 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 the base at Gila over here has 36, uh, rather a few, uh, right around 40 or so, 45 or so Spitfires ready. Um, but if we take a look at uh, the one over here at Point Olivo, uh, they have zero out of all of their different squadrons ready. And this is because supply throughput is unfortunately a very, very, very difficult thing to get right with these bases. So it looks like they have enough fuel, they have enough ammunition in itself, uh, but they don't have enough um, supplies just uh, just as is to to support their planes. So yeah, this is why we need the uh, the bases here actually finished uh, rather the bases on on Sith or the ports in Sicily actually finished and ready because if we don't have them ready um, despite receiving a ton of supply and outputting a ton of supply from Gila, uh, Syracusa and Ca Cantina over here uh, it, it's still not enough to cover even this small assortment of planes I mean these are only fighters they're not carrying like large bomb payloads even so with that said, uh, yeah, a recurring theme here is the fact that supply throughput is just, yeah, it's just not that great. Uh, so taking a look at how we can perhaps make this better, well, it looks like the uh, the Axis is, at, is, at, is sending some planes over here to interdict our shipping uh, in some of these areas, and we could use, uh, or we could do with clearing those up. So we'll take a look into that shortly. Uh, what else can we do here? So in some of these areas we have great uh, air coverage, in some of these middle ground areas we don't, but nevertheless, I mean, the supplies are still going through there. So in that case, uh, boo -boo -boo, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think what we'll do is that we'll, okay, we'll put all the air directives to none. And we'll try to reset these. So starting off, we'll run a recon mission, figure out where the uh, the Germans are going here. Put that on four, focus on uh, using on spotting units in particular. And let's see, now that, that now this mission takes off with 51 aircraft as opposed to before where it was, uh, well, very, very low. Do a bombing uh, mission here. Put it over this area. Put this on four. And we'll try to hit uh, a lot of interdiction, and we'll have also a priority on uh, hopefully bumping up fatigue on units. And now tactical air force is going to be in uh, in a mix of of more or less uh, transferring to Sicily. So we're going to get them to provide ground support for our guys, and that's pretty much it because currently there's just not a lot of supplies there. Right, so execute these minor directives. They're going to run a few uh, runs here and there. And yikes, this is going to rack up some losses, but nevertheless, it should be good. And there we go, so the turn is done. We managed to drop a whole bunch of payloads all over here. And if we filter out the uh, missions over here, we should have run quite a lot of these air recon missions as well. Filtering these out. Doo -doo -doo. Where did our air recon missions go? Hmm. Don't seem to be displayed. Oh, that's why. There we go. So lots of air, uh, yeah, air interdiction missions and lots of recon missions to follow up through here. Uh, we don't seem to have identified any, any, any uh, rather, a lot of enemy units, so that is very, very odd. So disabling those filters, we managed to put a, yeah, a, a small layer of interdiction over this area. 
right so we'll have to figure out uh, where that is coming from I'm gonna get rid of all of these bomb uh, well air interdicts and all that we're gonna see air combat to see where the uh, the Luftwaffe is uh, taking their missions and it looks like they're uh, they're attacking all around the coast so I'm gonna guess they're they might be I should say based over there and yeah that is pretty much just that right and do they have any interdiction over the the, the street control and yes they do all right so uh, going forward from that, we are going to liquidate the city. Attack it like that. We have air support now, which is quite nice. That's going to whittle down their air power gradually, though. Hit this area again. And hopefully, no, we can't go for one more round. All right. In that case, we'll take uh, Messina nice and properly. We'll get right up onto the coast. And at this point, our people should be able to, yeah, ferry over. The thing is that we'll need a uh, amphibious landing craft uh, unit to attack over the street, and that's kind of why we uh, we have one cleared. Oh, that one, that unit shouldn't have moved. That's why we have uh, this unit sitting over here, is because we can use it to try to push through this area now. And we could try to do that next turn. The thing is that um, inside these areas, the uh, the, the the towns. Uh, from from one perspective has pretty heavy uh, anti or yeah sea defenses so with that said that might be quite a difficult target oh looks like we got some intel on these airfields and let's see what is based we know that hmm, we know that they have a yeah a small squadron of bf 109s over here and another one over here. All right, so those are two targets for the uh, for the next round of aircraft. All right, so now we have to say whether or not we uh, we want to try to cross this right now. They look like yeah, they have uh, they have Falschmager infantry and some other stuff guarding that crossing. So it might not be the best uh, time to try to do that. Either way, we'll try to liquidate these uh, these guys over here, and that's going to remove one large lot of enemy guys the Panzer Grenadiers managed to escape so we'll finish them off just like that and that should beg us quite a lot of enemy losses so let's see this one's going to give us a ton of enemy infantry uh, but the tanks managed to go forth and the Panzer yeah all the Panzers escape so now if we switch over here and in this mission um, now that the infantry are gone the losses mount up, and we managed to capture practically yeah, all of their tanks and whatever is left here. So that is quite nice. Right, so that is going to remove yeah a portion of their forces. And that is pretty much going to be the end of this turn. So I'll see you guys later on. Bye-bye for now.